Hi guys, welcome to Mnemonic Store. Today we're going to learn of how to prevent blood pressure or hypertension without medication. Firstly, what is blood pressure? Blood pressure is the force of your blood pushing against the walls of your arteries. Each time your heart beats, it pumps blood into the arteries. Your blood pressure is highest when your heart beats pumping the blood. This is what is called systolic pressure. When your heart relaxes between the beats, your blood pressure falls. This is called diastolic pressure. Your blood pressure is represented using these two numbers. Usually, the systolic number comes before or above the diastolic number. In most cases, the blood pressure is taken in the brachial artery in the upper arm because when blood pressure is high in these vessels, it is probable that it is higher throughout all arteries. For most adults, blood pressure readings will be in one of the four categories. Normal blood pressure, where the systolic pressure is less than 120 mm of mercury. Diastolic pressure is less than 80 mm of mercury. Pre-hypertension, where the systolic pressure is between 120 to 139 and the diastolic pressure is between 80 to 89. Stage 1 high blood pressure, where the systolic pressure is between 140 to 159 and the diastolic pressure is between 90 to 99. Stage 2 high blood pressure, where the systolic pressure is 160 and higher and the diastolic pressure is 100 and higher. In other cases, you can have isolated systolic pressure or isolated diastolic pressure when only a single unit has raised abnormally either systolic or diastolic pressure respectively. Do you know, by just living a healthy lifestyle, you can help keep your blood pressure in a healthy range. Preventing high blood pressure or hypertension can lower your risk of getting heart disease and stroke. Practice the following healthy living habits. Eat a healthy diet. Cut down on the amount of salt in your food and eat plenty of fruits and vegetables. The dash. Dietary approaches to stop hypertension. Dietary is an example of an eating plan that can help you to lower your blood pressure. Salt rises your blood pressure. The more you eat salt, the higher your blood pressure. Aim to less than a teaspoon of salt per day. Also, consider eating a low-fat diet that includes a lot of fiber such as whole grain rice, bread, and plenty of fruits and vegetables also help to lower the blood pressure. Aim to eat 5 portions of fruits and vegetables every day. Limiting alcohol intake. Regularly drinking alcohol above the recommended limits can raise your blood pressure over time. Also, alcohol adds extra calories which may cause weight gain. Men should have no more than two drinks per day and women only one. Get active and lose weight. Being active and taking regular exercise can help you maintain a healthy weight and lower your blood pressure. Adults should do at least two hours and 30 minutes of moderate intense aerobic activity such as cycling or first walking every week. Stop smoking. This doesn't directly cause high blood pressure, but it puts you at a much higher risk of heart attack and stroke. If you do not smoke, do not start. But if you do, talk to your health care provider for help in finding the best way for you to quit. Managing stress. Learning how to relax and manage stress can improve your emotional and physical health and lower high blood pressure. 
Stress management techniques include exercising, listening to music, and focusing on something calm. Cut down caffeine. Drinking more than four cups of coffee a day may increase your blood pressure. If you're a big fan of coffee, tea, or other caffeine-rich drinks such as cola and some energy drinks, consider a cut down. Thank you very much. Remember to subscribe and like this video. I really hope it was helpful and it will help you to lower blood pressure or increase knowledge and such. Thank you.